Friends, it's Dr. Kai. I, um, in case anyone's wondering why you're, I'm bothering you twice today, it's because I just did a live stream and I want to repeat it because it is a guide live stream and it didn't go so well. There was quite a few things that went wrong in it um, and I do want to make a video out of this so I'm going to try and be a bit more efficient and proper this time. So I am making a video about ED Profiler and specifically the Commander Log tool and the travel, uh, sorry, the chat logs tool because I really think that these tools are going to be immensely indispensable for distant worlds. I think loads and loads of people who haven't heard of it are going to be glad that they found out about it. Um, and those of you that already know about it, I just want to give you a quick guide about how to use it. Maybe there's some features you didn't know. I have been asked that recently because I did just tweet it. So let's start with the first one, um, Commander Logs. So Commander Logs is a tool that basically lets you create logs simply by typing in local chat. So let me just make sure. So if this is, alright. So if I type in local chat, local and I type in, no, let's not do test, it's boring. Hello humans, I am in a ring system and it's really cool. If you heard that, tick, tick, that means it's created a file. Actually, that file already exists. It's this one here. Um, and it has, if it, hadn't, if it didn't already exist, then it would have created it. And then what it does is it puts it into, it it writes what I wrote here. Now, unfortunately, what's, see, it's going wrong again. <laughs> this is my problem. Let's try that again. Test. Right, there we go. So it records it. Now, I must have put quotes or something. I don't know what went wrong, because if you put quotes, it won't work. That's the only thing that doesn't work as far as I know, and other maybe special characters. But generally speaking, you can use it to create automatic logs. And it will capture those logs and tabulate them into nice um, logs type things. So for example, here's a good one, Sirius. Like if you want to write your travels, keep them, keep track of them without having to alt tab or like fiddle around too much. You can just type them into local chat and it will do it for you. It will tell you like where you are. Uh, it'll give you, it'll say like if you're above a planet, it might say somewhere above Lucifer. It will tell you if you're docked somewhere. And then it will just write out what you wrote in local chat nicely. Put it into a text file, which you can then open. So there you go, that's what it looks like. Um, and yeah, the other really cool thing that it does is it captures screenshots. So if I press F10 now and I go back, so it will put a link to that screenshot here and give you a preview, which makes it an indispensable bookmarking tool, way better than the Frontier bookmarking tool. If you just want to pass through systems and when you see cool things, have a quick like capture of what it was and then move on and then worry about it all later, then this is the tool for you. And like as you can see, it's great. I can just scroll through all the systems I've been to and see what it was that I saw there. Here's a double sunset, sunrise or whatever. Um, this was an amazing planet that had like a nebula in the sky and a love sun. Um, yeah, so you know, just cool stuff. Here, for example, I wanted to remember that I need to go there when the. Um, I wonder that it was nice, very orange, and it reminds me of the first time I went there when I was doing some rare trading. So yeah, it also lets you merge. It's got you can pop it out and edit it elsewhere. You can go to the folder where everything's saved. You can sort. You can search. You can um, turn off the screenshot thing. You can turn off the info bits. You can constrain it with the log prefix so it doesn't capture all your local chat. So now I have to type log for it to record. It gives you a nice beep to make to let you know that it's worked because obviously you don't want to have to just like if you're in VR, it defeats the purpose if you have to go and check every time. So that's that. It's also got an expedition mode which puts everything in a single file that you can name. Now the other one is, where's ED Profiler gone? Is the chat logs which lets you show chat history. So when you click that, it will show you all the chat history of a date range. Um, it goes all the way back as long as you've got log files. You can also filter it. It includes all the different chat um, types. So you've got squadron, local, um, direct messages, color coded like the game. You can have it live. So now look, if I type here, I don't know, let's do system this time. It will then come here. Um, so it's great for this expedition because not only can you check back your chat history, which you might lose if you're in a squadron, you can also like copy and paste things. If someone, if like Isaacix were to send me, for example, a system link, a system name that for me to go to, I can't copy it from the in-game chat, but I can copy it from here and paste it into the galaxy map. Or I can, if he sends me a link, click on it, or well, I can't click on it, but I can copy it from here, and then, you know, 
paste it into a browser, which is something you can't do in the in-game chat again. But if we turn off, say, um, system chat, so now I'll do it again, but this time system chat's gone as you can see. It also goes way back, as long as you've got logs, so 2018 November, show chat history. I hope this isn't a private conversation. Okay, well, I was talking about distant worlds even back then, that was a pretty cool result. And yeah, it does wing chat, it gives you little snippets of what you're doing, hyperspace jump to, well, oops, hyperspace jump to snuffe, whatever. Uh, you could turn that off with the system messages. And overlay mode doesn't really work, so don't use that. You could change the font. All right, that's enough about that. I hope you see the potential amazingness of that. That's a big search, it's gonna take a while. So let's just close it. Right, back to ED Profiler. What is ED Profiler, in case you haven't heard of it? So it's just a tool that basically gives you all the in-game graphic settings, lets you change them, and then save them to a profile. So I've got a 4K one. I've got one specifically for streaming. I've got some VR ones down here. You can also just have like your default VR and your default 2D profiles. You can detect the current in-game settings. So whatever you've got set now, it will detect, and then you can save that to a new profile or an existing profile. You've got the defaults here. And um, what you do is you then click apply and start the game and it will take on those settings. You have to restart the game between applies. It can also, for example, um, let you fiddle with some of the settings that are found inside the XMLs, the graphics override XML. It lets you pick HUD colors and I made this editor with avatars. It's the only HUD color editor I, I'm aware of that has avatars. And it also lets you change it and see the changes as you go. Um, you can extend the range, you can randomize, and if you click the randomizing, you will notice that the vast majority of color profiles, color combinations are not avatar friendly. You can go back in case you miss something. Um, you can also design a custom HUD color, so if you want to just get a rough red, click on red, and it will give you red, and click on green. It kind of blends it in, here's a green. Um, if you want to just replace the main orange, you go replace main and let's say replace it with red, and it goes red. Tries its best to not touch the highlights, which are the blues, but it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. You can definitely achieve results with this. You can actually just replace the highlights, so if I want blue highlights now without trying to touch the red, then yeah, that'll work pretty well. It'll tell you if the avatars are going to be blank, because some colour combinations are going to lead to blank avatars. Um, you can then save what you find, click OK, and it goes back here. You can save to existing or save as a new preset. It had a tone mapping tool, but that's unfortunately gone. And you can also extend the range here. You can choose color bind, uh, custom uh, control bindings. And that's it. Um, the link to download this program, which is 100% free and very lightweight, is found in the description of this video. You install it and all of this comes with. If you want the commander log tools, commanders, commander logs tool to work you need to have it running when you play the game so yeah make sure of that the chat logs are just reads your player journals it does not need to be pre-installed or running for it to be able to give you a chat history and let's go to the stream and see if there's any questions asked because I have just streamed a minute ago and I did answer some questions there I actually don't have that open at the moment so I'm gonna end this video now because I don't want it to go on too long if there are any questions, you can ask in here or you can ask in the forum thread that's linked in the description. And yeah, remember it's 100% free and it really is going to be a massive use to a lot of people. So please just give it a go. All right, thanks a lot for watching and sorry for the double video. Hopefully this will be the one I keep.